Hi guys, it's Glenn with Expulsion Science. And today we're gonna go through Archimedes Principle and do some experiments with physics. The Archimedes Principle is when a body is fully or partially immersed in a fluid and it experiences a upward force that is equal to the weight of the water that is displaced by it. Okay, that is a lot to unpack. Essentially, the amount of liquid or the weight of liquid that is pushed out of the way by the object is equal to the amount of force that is going up on the object. Now, Archimedes' tail is quite the good one. So it starts with a king and he gave a gold bar to a goldsmith to make a big golden crown. And when he got the crown back, he noticed that it didn't feel right. And he thought that it was mixed with another type of metal. So he decided to go over to Archimedes and says, I can't prove it, but I think this has been mixed with another metal. Archimedes was kind of perplexed. He was like, how am I gonna do this? And he decided to go take a bath. And whenever he got into the bath, water went over the tub and it displaced. Archimedes proved that the goldsmith stole the gold. Through his experience, Archimedes discovered something called buoyant force. The more water that is pushed out of place, the more force that is pushed up on an object. Now, whether an object sinks or floats depends on how dense it is. Density is how much is packed in a certain amount of space. A basketball is not dense because it is filled with air and would float on the water. However, a bowling ball is completely dense and it would sink in the water. Our objective today is to take equal amounts of aluminum foil and squeeze them into different sizes to see how dense it has to be to sink. Let's gather our materials. So we need paper towels, a bowl of water, three pieces of aluminum foil of equal sizes, and a hammer. For our pieces of tin foil, I'm gonna make three different sizes of them. So for my first one, I'm gonna make it the larger ball. So this is the larger one. We're gonna take our second one, and we're gonna squeeze it a little bit tighter. And then we're gonna take this third one, and we're gonna squeeze it as tight as we can. And there's the third one. So you can see the three different size balls. We are gonna place them in water and see if they sink. Let's see what happens when we place our bigger one in the water and see if it sinks. Ready? It floats. Let's see if our medium one will sink. Well, that's floating too. But now, let's try this one and we're gonna use our crusty hammer here and even squeeze it some more. Watch your fingers if you're doing this at home. We've got it even smaller. Let's see what happens now. Oh, it sunk! Yes! Success! Now, why did that happen? The density, which is the stuff that is inside, has been compacted so much that there's no air, no liquid, no nothing in there, that it just sunk. Now that you've seen the Archimedes Principle, tune back in next time for our next experiment. Okay. <laughs> that is equal to the weight of the liquid? The Archimedes Principle is when a body is immersed in a fluid and a hammer. Let's do that again. Hammer. Not kidding. Three pieces of. Oh,